<laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> Save our planet, save our planet, save our planet, cause we only have one. Uh, chocolate, chocolate button? <gasps> oh, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just doing some cooking. I'm just baking because it's really good to bake your own things, isn't it? It's really good for your maths. And I'm doing my measuring and I'm doing my reading of my recipes. It's really good. It is really good chocolate chocolate button, but you are covered in flour. Where is your apron? <gasps> I forgot my apron. Oh dear. Never mind chocolate chocolate button. But you better get cleaned up because it's time for phonics. <gasps> okay, quick then. Everybody tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. Everybody tidy up. It's time for phonics. Woohoo! Hello everyone. I can't believe it that we're on to day seven already. My goodness me, we are doing so brilliantly. Bear brilliantly if you like. Get it? <laughs> Have your whiteboard pen and your whiteboard ready and your pencil and your paper ready just in case. Okay, let's see if you can do that by the time I get to zero. It is ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! Let's get going. Lucy, can I borrow your paws, please? Yep, sure. Right, the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to clench our hands together. So it goes one finger, then another finger like that, three your fingers together like that. Clasp them. That's what's clasping your hands. And then we are going to put our hands around and around and around like that. Just warming up our wrists. Okay, see if you can go forwards and backwards. Okay, and then you're gonna see if you can join them together, but make a kind of wave. So you let go of your thumbs there, and then see if you can make a little wave. Not sure how clear that is on here, but hopefully you get the idea. Ask for some help if you need it. Okay, and then we're gonna see if we can pick up uh, just our index fingers, our Peter pointers. There we go. And now just the middle fingers. That's it. Now our ruby ring fingers. And then our little finger. I don't know if you can see that. And then our thumbs. Okay. Right. And then let's see if we can do small hands, big hands, ten times. Small hands, big hands, little hands. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. And then shake it out. Okay, let's see if we can get to twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, and shake it out. Fantastic. Thumbs up if your hands are warmed up. Fantastic. Let's start. If you hold your pen in this hand, the left hand with the L on it, the L on it, then you make sure you've got these three fingers ready, you take the lead off over the inky bit of your pen and then flip it and then you're holding the pen correctly. If you hold the pen with this hand then you put these three fingers over the top of the pen and then flip it. 
Okay, fantastic. Let's get going. Let's start by drawing some triangles. Try and keep the pen on the page for the whole of the three sides. That's it. I wonder if you know what type of triangle that is. Not very accurate, but sort of equilateral triangles, aren't they? Right, speaking of equal, let's now draw some squares. So this time you've got to keep your pen on for four whole sides of the square. So I'm going to go down, across, up, and across. Down, across, up and across. Can you see I'm not taking my pen off until I finish my square. Boop. There we go. And now I'm going to do a wiggly line like that. And now a harder version. Don't worry if it's, this is too tricky. There we go, like a big snake at the end. The mum and the dad make many meals for the hungry children. Mm. So we're going to start by going up, then down, then back up, just like yesterday, and then down. But then we go back up again and around and down. Can you see? I'll do it again. Up, down, up, down, up, and down again. Okay, so this first line, you actually go over three times. Up, one, two, three. And this one twice. One, two, and this one just once. One. Okay, I'm going to show you one last time because it's a tricky one, this one. Up, down, up, across, and down, up, across, and down. One for luck. Up, down, up, across, and down, up across and down. There we go. I wonder what you turned your M's into. Right, let's do some sounds. 
see if you can say the sound before I do. Bull. Ah. Ow. E. Oi. You Z I uh, A Ear E Z Ng X G Your Or Oi. K. O. A. O. 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 With your tongue out. Th. Th. Without your tongue out. Th. Oh. Y or E at the end of a word. O I N with your lips open. N Uh, 
you. Well done, you're getting faster and faster at that. Let's keep going. Hello, chocolate chocolate button. You have been busy. What have you been up to? Well, I have been looking at all of the words that we've been learning so far and I've sorted them into groups or categories. See if you can work out what groups I've sorted them into. Okay, so I'm going to read them with you first so that you can give, so I can give you a clue. But see if you can spot what they have in common. All right, thanks, I will. Okay, this one is, mm, oh, me, we've done that one before, haven't we? B, sh, e, she, so we've got me, B, she, <laughs> oh yes, your favorite, we, he, me, be, she, we, he. And that's all in one group, is it? Yes, that's all one group. Okay, so they've, they've all got something in common. Okay, and then this one, next group. Some, some, k, um, come. Some, come. Only two in that group. Hmm. And the next group, the next group's the two lines together. Oh, right, okay. Have, have, from, so, like, just, said, it's. Hmm. I can't, I can see how the top group is is connected because all of these words, the e, the letter e, instead of saying e, which is the sound it usually makes, is making the sound e in all of those. Yes, you're right. So that one is me, be, she, we, he. So they're all they're connected by the by the letter e making its name instead of its sound in those words. Yes, tick, that's it. Uh, and then this one, hmm, some, come. Oh, they rhyme, don't they? Some and come. Yes, you've spotted it, Lucy. So, yes, it's about rhyming. So in the top row, me, be, she, we, and he, all rhyme because the letter E is saying its name rather than its sound. And then in the second row, some and come, they are also rhyming because they make the same sound and they're also spelled very similarly, the same way as the top row is spelled very similarly. Now with these ones, I couldn't think of a way of linking them, so they're just all in an odd odd one out pile. Oh, I see. Wait, well, shall we read them one last time then? Let's just check. Have, from, so, like, just, said, it's. I know how you could have sorted them, chocolate chocolate button. Really? How? Well, you could have looked at how many letters were in each word. So you could have said one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, so that one wouldn't go in the pile. One, two, three, four, so that one can go in that line. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Four letters. Not four sounds, four letters. So that one could also go in that pile. And then these ones are just the odd ones out then, aren't they? So and it's. Remember yesterday we learned it's, yes, and the apostrophe, that little dot there, means that it's short for it is. So it just means it is. You are absolutely right, chocolate chocolate button, well remembered. Okay, let's move on to our next task. Hey, maybe you could all have a go at this game at home. You could write lots of words on bits of cardboard. I just found this cardboard in the recycling bin and I 
asked Lucy if I could have it. She said yes. So I cut it up and I wrote all the words on there, one on each bit of card. And now I play the sorting game. So you could play the sorting game at home too. You could test your brothers or your sisters or your mummies, whoever you like. That would be really good. Anyway, we don't have time to do it again now, but you try at home and let me know how you get on. Right, let's see what our next job is going to be. Hello, we are going to play one of our favourite reading games of Countdown. So, I've got the words all here for you to see if you can read as quickly as you can to get to the very end before the timer stops. So, I'm just going to go through a few of these words before we start, just as, as, a, as a little heads up. Speck. A speck is a tiny, tiny little bit of something. So you might have a speck of dust or a speck of sand. Okay, and the next one is g r e n. G r e green. 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 We know what green is. There's actually another type of green, which is a cricket green, but you have to ask Bodhi all about that because he can tell you all about that. Fresh, fresh, fresh. If something is new, it is fresh. This one. Eep, st, e, st, eep, steep, steep. Sometimes you get a very steep hill, which means it's really vertical like that. It's really difficult to walk up like a mountain, a steep, steep hill. It can also mean expensive. If something is steep, it means it can be really, really expensive. Hmm. It's also the village where I grew up. Smell. 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 We have to use our noses to smell. It's one of our senses. T r a k. Trap. Track, track, track. A train drives on tracks, track. Also, bears might leave tracks in the snow when they've been for a walk. They might leave bear tracks. <laughs> and the last one is s, p, i, n, spin, spin. Spin means to turn all the way around, like this. ta -da! Okay, get ready to start our quick read. See how many words you can read by the time the countdown timer stops. A. Dad. I. Go. Him. As, off, off, get, get, and, an, and, hand, he, the, uh, m, them, down, down, me, my, see, two, was, it's. Oh my goodness, Lucy, I think you've sped up the timer. I don't think it was that quick the other week. Yes, it was Chocolate Chocolate Button. As you well know, I use the same soundtrack every single time. Oh my goodness. Well, let's count and see how many words we got right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Where did I get up to? About there, I think. Sixteen. Okay, sixteen words to beat. Let's have a little practice first to see if we can get even faster at them now once we've had a practice. Okay.
Okay, have you had a good practice? Yes? Elbow bump! Amazing. Okay, let's have another go then and see if we can beat our scores. I'm going to try and beat 16. See if you can beat your score. It doesn't matter about beating me. You just have to try and beat what you did. Okay, let's go. A. Dad. I. Go. Him. As. Off. Get. And. An. Hand. He. Them. Down. Me. My. See. Two. Was. It's. Has. One. Speck. Speck. Green. Fresh. Steep. Smell. Smell. Trap. Track. Sp in. Spin. End. Oh my goodness, I only just made it. Right, so there were 16 up to there. So 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh my goodness, we read 30 words in that time. Brilliant. Amazing. Okay, let's see what's next. Ooh. We are now on to our quick write words. So let's see if you can get your whiteboard pen and your whiteboard and your paper and your pencil together in double quick fashion. Okay, let's go. Lucy, can I borrow your hand, please? Yes, you may. Oh, can we also have the alphabet? Yes, good point. Hello, we're ready to start. Number one is brown. Can you write the word brown for me? Brown. B, r, ow, n, brown. Brown is a colour. For example, chocolate chocolate button is brown. Brown. Number two is the word sport. Sport. Sp or Sport. Sport is the name given to activities that we do to maybe keep fit. And they usually have to have a skill involved as well. Sport. Number three is trash. Trash. R a sh trash trash. It's not really a word I use very often. Trash. I think it means rubbish. I think it kind of depends on where you're from in the world. But some people say, "Could you put the trash out?" And some people say, "Can you put the rubbish out?" So I think trash just means rubbish. Trash. The next one is start. Start. St. Art. Start. Chocolate Chocolate Button was at the start of the race. She was going to win. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> hey. And now she's at the finish line. Start, finish, start. Please could you write the word start? Next word is flag. Flag. F. L. A. G. F. 
flag. A flag is a piece of material, often quite colourful, that you put at the top, the very top of a pole, and then it flies there and it tells people a little bit about who you are and what you like doing. So for example, the Union Jack is a flag. Maybe you could find out what flag best represents you and where you're from and you could copy one, colour it in and then post it on Twitter or send it to me so that I can see. I would love that. That would be really good. Dan, you could even draw all of the flags that are associated with you in your family. Flag. The next word is spear. Spear. Sp. Ear. Spear. So only three sounds in this one. Let's have a look at the fingers again. Sp. Ear. Three sounds, but five letters. Sp. Ear. Spear. And a spear is a long pole with a pointy end on it that you throw when you're hunting things. We don't use them very often. Now we use things that look a bit like spears called javelin when we're, when we're in the athletics or competing in the Olympics. We might throw a long stick with a pointy end called a javelin. But that used to be called a spear and we used to use them for hunting. The next word is spoil, 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 spoil means that you are overindulgent with someone. If you spoil someone, you give them everything they want, whenever they want it. Spoil. Oh my goodness, we're on to number eight already. The last one is spoon. Spoon. Sp -o -n. Spoon. 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 You might use a spoon to eat your peas, for example, because they often trickle all over the plate, don't they? And they're very difficult to stab with your fork. So sometimes you might say, please, can I have a spoon to eat my peas? Spoon. There's also a spoon bill. That's a type of bird. And they have what looks like on their beak, a spoon at the very end of it. That's why they're called a spoon bill. They're amazing birds. You should definitely uh, have a look at some of those. Okay, that's it. We have finished our quick write. Let's see how you got on. Give yourself a tick if you got it right.
Well done everyone, we've reached our final task of the day. We are going to write a silly sentence using three words that come up from this random group of pictures. So let's see which words we're going to choose. Okay, I'm going to move along and then you can say stop and that's when I'll know I have to stop at the, at the, at the picture you've chosen. Okay, ready? I can't hear you. Oh, okay, right, this one. Oh, this picture is sleeping. Sleeping. Oh, sleeping. So that's one picture. One word you're going to have is sleeping. Like that, sleeping. Okay, and let's have a go again. Remember to shout stop. Stop. Okay, right. Off we go. This picture. Ooh. Not stop, but spot. Spot. We had that one yesterday, didn't we? Spot. Okay, sleeping. Spot. And then one more word we're going to fit into our silly sentences. Ready? I didn't hear you shout stop, did you? Oh, okay, let's try again. Oh, okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is the word paint. Paint. Right, okay, let's see if you can write a silly sentence which involves those three words. Sleeping, spot, and paint. When you've finished writing your sentence, please do send it in to me so that I can have a look and see how you've got on. Don't forget that every sentence starts with a capital letter, has finger spaces in between the words, and ends with a full stop. Fantastic! Okay, I can't wait to see them. It's been an absolute pleasure teaching you today. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow for some more bear phonics. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Elbow bump, elbow bump. <laughs>